Hi everyone, this is VK. Welcome to Smid World. Here I am with another video. Welcome to Cement World. In this video, uh, we will discuss about uh, stacker and reclaimers. What exactly need of stackers and reclaimers and the type of stackers, type of stockpiles. See here, longitudinal arrangement and uh, circular arrangement stockpiles. The two basic stockpiles layouts are there. Longitudinal stockpile arrangement and circular stockpile arrangement. Longitudinal arrangement allows easy future expansion but uh, requires more space. While the circular arrangement basically prevents any future expansion but has a more compact footprint. Longitudinal stockpile arrangement is used for high storage capacity. To protect the material from wind and rain and to avoid the problems associated with them, many times tire stockpile and the stacker reclaimer machines are covered with a, within a shed. See here, cover sheds, longitudinal shed and a dome type shed. As shown in the above figure, longitudinal stockpiles, a longitudinal shed is constructed whereas for circular stockpile, a dome type shed is constructed. In a dome type shed, the shape of the shed will be in the semi-hemispherical form. There will be a concrete wall up to certain height from the ground level and the structure will be erected above this wall. The dome structure of various sizes could be adopted depending on the storage required. Within a dome type shed, material gets protected from wind and rain. It may be noted that uh, where there is a constraint for the land, large capacity silos could be used for uh, storing and material. Type of stockpiles, stacking methods, you can see the cone shell, chevron method, window stacking methods and strata methods. The most commonly used stacking methods for making longitudinal stockpiles are cone shell, chevron and window. Basically, these methods consist of stacking a large number of layers on the top of each other in the longitudinal direction of the pile. In the cone shell method, the pile is formed by depending material in a single cone from a fixed position. When this conical pile is full, the stacker moves to a new position and a new cone is formed again as the shell of the first one. This process continues the longitudinal direction of the store until the stockpile is completed. In the chevron method, the material is deposited by a stacker moving to and fro over the center line of the pile. However, the chevron stacking method causes segregation of the material with fine particles in the central part of the pile and coarse particles on the surface and at the bottom of the pile. To ensure proper blending, a chevron pile must therefore be reclaimed from the face of the file, working across the entire cross section. In the window method, material is deposited from a number of positions across the full width of the pile. This method needs a luffing and slewing stacker. The window method prevents uh, segregation and ensures more even distribution of fine and uh, coarse particles across the pile. The window method is preferred in cases where the reclaimer is only operated in one part of the pile across the section at the time or in cases where segregation would take upon a pile base unacceptable. Sometimes stagger is carried out by a strata method. The strata method needs a luffing and slewing step. Uh, strata staking method. The stockpile is built up in inclined layers. The stacker builds the first layer traveling along the storage area with its boom at a low elevation. The stacker then moves towards the stockyard center in preset steps while gradually lifting the boom. The result is superimposed inclined layers matching the angle of repose of the bulk material and providing a good blending as the reclaimer cuts into each of the many layers. If no blending is required, 
cone shell, the simplest stacking method will be chosen. It requires no slowing mechanism or gear in the stacker and simplifies the movement of the stacker during stacking. If blending is necessary, the chevron and window methods are used. Chevron is the preferred choice. It does not require slowing mechanism in the stack. As shown in the figure, a circular stores a continuous chevron stacking is the most commonly used method. In this method, a ring-shaped pile is being continuously stacked at the one end and reclaimed at the other end. Stacking takes place a fan. Uh, shape arc, typically 120 degree, with each sweeping movement corresponding to two layer of materials. The whole sector advances approximately half degree ahead. The blending operation requires separate stacker and separate reclaimer. Also, at least two stockpiles are necessary in stockyard so that when stockpile is under formation, the other stockpile can be used for reclaiming purpose. This amount uh, to reduce in the usable storage material compared to simple storage and reclaim. The material characteristics very important. The height of the pile depends on the angle of repose. If you see for the limestone, angle of repose is 37 degrees. For the sand, angle of repose is 35 degrees. For the bauxite, angle of repose is 37 degrees. For, for the coal, angle of repose is 35 degrees. It is general. Here you can see the uh, angle of repose of uh, material. 35 degree for sand and uh, 37 degree for the bauxite. 40 degree for iron ore. Boom degree top is 15 degree. Boom can down up to 12 degree. So based on that, uh, the height will be decided. You see here, types of stackers. Stacker is chosen based on the stockpile layout. The material properties and the required stacking method. For example, a stacker must reach the whole cross section of the pile. If window stacker is required for chevron or cone shell stacking, it is enough to reach the center of the pile only. The stacking process can be done by simple triple car overhead or it can be stacker equipped with the traveling and luffing or luffing and slowing mechanism. Feeding of the stacker itself is carried out by a belt conveyor with a triple car. You can see a picture in the stacking by a triple car method. Stacking in a covered stockyard can be done by a simple triple car. A triple car is installed in structure suspended from a building roof. The travel of the triple car is PLC controlled and uh, programmed to build a, either a cone shell or a chevron stockpile. Types of the stackers following are the three basic movements in a stacker. First, traveling, bogie moves the machine onward rail track along the stock storage yard. Laughing. This is the vertical up and down movement of the boom, mostly powered by two hydraulic cylinders.
and is swinging. This is rotation of the boom around its uh, central axis to discharge the material on the stockyard where required. Super material flow, the hair conveyors, and here you see the main body stacker bogies for traveling, boom conveyor, and boom. height of the pipe. The above figure shows construction of a typical stacker with the locking mechanism. The stacker includes a tripper and main body. The tripper and main body are mounted on bogies to move the machine on the rail track along the stock yard. The main body includes stacking boom conveyor. The stationary yard conveyor passes through tripper and discharges material on the boom conveyor. The boom conveyor discharges the material on the stock yard. to form the stock pipe the luffing mechanism of a stacker is driven either by a hydraulic drive unit or a winch the stacker shows in above figure is driven by a hydraulic drive a luffing stacker the above figure shows a luffing stacker stacker without swing mechanism a luffing stacker can make stock pile in a chevron and cone shell type of formation stock piles both side of the luffing and slewing stacker the above figure shows the luffing and slewing stackers luffing and slewing stackers are used to make stock piles on both sides of the machine in addition to chevron and cone shell type of formation they can make stock pile in windrow and strat uh, wind windrow and strata type of formations also Above figure shows the twin boom stacker. Twin boom stackers are having two booms, one of each side of the machine with the locking arrangement. Two booms make it possible to form stock piles on both sides of the machine without slewing mechanism. The tripper car and uh, yard conveyor is often equipped with a bypass arrangement, uses of uh, bifurcating chute and uh, diverting flap gate. that enables material to bypass the stacker boom and continues along the yard conveyor to meet plan requirement the material conveyor from the tripper is discharged on the bifurcating chute the chute has two legs one of the directing the material towards the boom conveyor during stacking and uh, other for discharging the material into the central chute over the impact table for bypassing the boom conveyor the diverting gate operated by electric actuator or hydraulic cylinder across uh, any one of the legs and allows the material to pass through the other 